Welcome, Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where I dive into current events, those burning vampire questions, and give life advice, all from the undead perspective. Today's current event a headline I saw that said California rushes to vaccinate poor people. Yet, what about transgender? I didn't know being transgender was a socioeconomic issue. I thought it was a sexual identity or a lifestyle identity. I didn't know that we had to vaccinate transgender people because they couldn't afford vaccinations. I didn't know they were an at-risk populace due to socio-economic reasons. Uh, I do understand that I don't understand the issues facing the transgender population, since I am not transgender, and I don't give a shit about social issues. So I've never looked into it. But to put all transgender people in one state, or in one country, or in the world, in the same boat as the poor who can't afford vaccinations seems to be a disservice to someone somewhere or a large group of someone's everywhere. It's a generalization that doesn't need to be made. You don't need to say, well, these people got taken care of, but what about these people? Everyone should either be taken care of or no one should be taken care of, regardless of socioeconomic status or their sexual status. Either everyone is taken care of or no one. For today's vampire question, is there a difference between animal blood and human blood? Which is better? Is there an animal blood that is superior? Let's unpack that question, shall we? As a human corpse, the easiest blood to assimilate is human blood. Any blood will do but human blood is the easiest to assimilate. So human blood is superior in that way. As for using the blood to simply animate the body, any blood will do. And saying, is there a difference in animal blood is like saying, is there a difference in steak quality? A sirloin is going to be better than a chopstick, and a ribeye is going to be better than a sirloin, as a general rule. It also depends upon your taste and what you can stomach. Now, rat's blood is going to be of a lower quality than, say, pig or cow blood, simply because there's less blood there and the lifestyle of the animal. But in a pinch, any blood will do. And today's advice column, again taken from Yahoo Answers, and again completely anonymous. Why is it so hard to leave a toxic relationship? Well, that is a good question. Why is it so hard to leave a toxic relationship? It's toxic. 
if you are aware that it is toxic, maybe you should get out. Although, maybe the toxic aspects of the, of the relationship make the sex hotter in your mind. Better than bland relationship sex. I don't know. Or maybe it's because you have terrible self-esteem so you don't really believe you deserve a better relationship. Maybe the toxic, toxic relationship is all you know. Maybe you've gotten comfortable with it. Maybe you just need to grow some self-esteem and get the hell out of that relationship. Maybe. That has been it for Ask McCorkle. If you like what I spout off and you'd like to ask a question, have me give some advice to you, please comment below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Check out all my videos. Share me. Make me go viral. And check out the books, both the ones that I have written and the one that is about me. That's on Amazon, and the link is in the description. This has been Ask McCorkle, and I will talk at you again later.